Hey defenders, welcome back to our channel. So today I have something really interesting. There is a very popular saying they say, love it or hate it, but you cannot live without it. That is Google for you, right? If you like it or if you don't like it, immaterial, but you cannot live without Google today, right? Google has penetrated into our lives in multiple ways, multiple domains that we can't even think of or we can't even start listing them, you know? They're so huge and uh, it is almost inevitable that we can spend a day without the support of Google in some form, shape or figure, right? Now, it has come to a point where if we want to go to our own company's website, we have to go a Google search. So we are dependent on Google so much today. And now what is happening is there are search engine marketing experts or digital marketing experts who are also into optimizing GMB, Google My Business, Google Maps profiles, right? Which means that uh, they optimize a particular profile for particular keywords, right? So now what is happening is this uh, leads to a new problem or a new attack that's called the search engine result poisoning is otherwise called search engine poisoning as well, right? So imagine what happens is today, if you have your credit card uh, used for some unauthorized uh, reasons, right? So you will have to call your uh, bank customer care and inform them that this issue has happened. So kindly block my card. To do that, what do you do? You do a Google search saying HDFC bank customer care number, ICICI bank customer care number, right? So what do you get? You get one uh, toll free number where you dial and you talk to the customer care. But let me tell you today what is happening is these attackers who are also digital marketing expert, what they do is they actually optimize a fake website with certain meta keywords and everything with which they optimize their own phone number as a customer care number. So what happens is when an end user dials that number, they configure it to go through IVR system and on the process, they ask them to dial the uh, credit card number through the IVR system, right? Using your mobile keypad. And it also asks you to authenticate it type in your uh, pin number so that it can be deactivated. So you type in your pin number also through the mobile keypad. Once both of it is done, actually what happens on the back end is attacker is receiving all this information as you press the keystrokes right on your keypad. So this is becoming a popular attack where search engine results are getting poisoned, a different uh, number is given, right? And these numbers have a IVR or interactive voice response kind of a system on the back end through which they harvest all the confidential information you store it. Now, this leads to a new problem. This leads to a new era of problems, I would say, right? So the solution to this problem is very simple. Make sure you go to the right website or the verified sources to get the mobile number or the landline number or the toll free number and then use that to call the uh, company, right? Please do not call arbitrary numbers posted on some random blogs or random forums from which you pick the phone number and call them. Please do not do that, especially if it is a financial organization, please never do that right always go to the uh, official website and you will have the contact details of the customer care details through which you can connect right in case any of you had such an experience of seeing a poisoned phone number or poisoned email address or poisoned contact details somewhere on the internet about popular banking uh, company or popular fintech company please write your experience on the comment section below, right? In case you found this information useful, in case you think someone would love to have this kind of content, consider sharing and subscribing. Thank you.